Hey there, and welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Targets of Attitude, absent mind professor of knives and all things sharp. Pull up your chairs on the floor, grab your pens and pencils. Class is about to begin. Today, we're looking at a newer one from Best Tech, the Airstream. Yes, Best Tech Airstream. Very sweet looking knife. Available in two different colors at the moment, two different blade styles. But before we get to this, let's get our syllabus work out of the way, shall we? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here on Fridays, we do mainly knife reviews. Occasionally, I'll do a review of a piece of camping equipment or survival gear, you know, flashlights, compasses, cook equipment, that sort of thing. But mainly, I do knife reviews. Then on Mondays, I do knife basics, what you really need to know. Don't post those every Mondays, but whenever I get a question that I think everyone would be interested in, I'll go ahead and cover it. Um, it's for those who are new to the knife world and want to know what we mean when we start handling out all these fancy terms like, what is a drop point? What is G10? What is micarta? What is D2? What is 14C28N? These sorts of things. All in all, it's designed so that next time you go to a gun show or a knife store, you're not sitting there going, um, I, uh, okay, I actually know what they're talking about. For those of you who have been with us for a while, welcome back. I'm glad you could join us. I hope you've subscribed by now. You know, we're always doing a drive to get uh, new subscribers, and every 500 subscribers, I give away a new knife. So, let's hope you've done so. But... Back to the actual knife, that's what you're here for. As I say, it's a newer knife from Bestec, and it's fairly sweet. It's called the Airstream, and it does remind me of an Airstream travel trailer. I know uh, some people have compared it to the uh, wing of an airplane. It's, I don't quite see that, but, you know, hey, everyone's got different uh, views and opinions, so. We turn it this way, it looks even more like an Airstream trailer, really. Um, so I think it's a perfect name for it. It's available in a yellow version, which is this one, and a red version where what's yellow on this one is black, and what's black on this one is red. And that one's very striking as well. It's got D2 tool steel blade. The blade is three and three quarters inches. Closed its four and three quarters inches so it's a nice size knife I mean it's big it's got fairly decent uh, cuts and uh, grooves on it so it does feel very comfortable in the hand it's a wide knife um, got G10 space back here as well as G10 and scales uh, the pivot is the uh, cage ball bearings, and it's just very smooth, which is what I've come to expect from Vestec. I mean, they just, they really make a nice knife. Classic drop point, got a thumb hole, so you could do the spidey flick with it if you want to. Extended tang, so you, if you prefer the other way, you can do it that way. Um little bit of jimping on the back of the blade. A little hard to see since it's black, but it's not a bad location for it. The choil... It's not deep enough for me to comfortably choke up and use the choil as a finger choil. I'd leave that for a uh, sharpening choil myself. But if you feel comfortable, go ahead. It's, it's your fingers. <clears throat> a little bit heavy. It's over a third of a pound. Uh, it says 0.36 pounds shipping weight. Does have a lanyard hole. The only thing I can ding the thing on straight out of the box is that pocket clip, which is a deep pocket clip. Nice. But it's not reversible. You're stuck with... Uh, Right hand carry tip up, which 
Okay. It works for me. Um, it's not going to work for those lefties out there, which is a shame. All in all, just a very striking knife. But let's see how it does through our better if test, shall we? As always, this is straight out of the box. No touch-up, no nothing like this. Make sure this is actually scrap paper. Yes, it is. Good enough. And let's start with... Very, very nice. That works great. Let's see how it does with cardboard. Drop point goes through beautifully. That cuts beautifully. Yeah. It threads the cardboard very nicely. So it handles standard corrugated cardboard just fine. Again, what I'd expect of best tech, but always best to check and see. Uh, standard gold peak key bottle. Let's see how it handles this. If it'll handle this, it'll handle any hang package I know of. And beautifully. Yeah. Made sure short work of that. Very short work. Um, let's see here. Air cord. Yeah. Did that beautifully. That beautifully. Now let's get down to a tiny loop. I can just get the tip very tip through. That's wow. Almost one slice. It was just a thread holding the two together after that first slice. That's impressive. Let's see how it does on leather, shall we? Standard heavy gauge cowhide. Not too bad. It was hanging up a little bit, but not anything I could complain about. Now, we need to trim some leather straps out of a piece of leather or even make yourself a uh, heavy leather glove. This will do it. Let's see how it does with the zip ties. Won't go on again about how handy zip ties are because you all have heard me say it many times, but they are. They are very handy, but very hard to cut. So let's see here. Straight through, no problem. How about if I need to trim it up? One. Not bad. Let's get a piece of wood here. And see how it handles chopping it. That's, yeah, chopping it off very nicely indeed. As we've got the wood here, actually, instead of starting with pine, let's go for a piece of uh, walnut. Uh, cut this off of the uh, board I was working with because one, it's got a crack right here, and two, it's got some Skype marks in it that are pretty deep. I could sand them out, but it's a pain to do so. But walnut is one of my favorite woods for making cutting boards and like out of. It's almost as good as rock maple. Let's see here. Where is feathering it up goes. Just want to feather it up nicely. Could have done better. That's pretty nice. 
and see if that's helping, shall we? It's dropping fairly nicely, isn't it? Um, let's see about uh, how well we'll split a piece of wood. I'm not about to try to do cherry or walnut for that, but got a piece of pine here. As you can see, going across the grain here. Let's see here. Going in, going in nicely. Can't complain about that. Yeah. So, so far he's doing great. Let's see here. Um, wire. Let's see how it does on cutting some wiring harness. Yes, you'd normally do this with a pair of wire cutters. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have to repair a wiring harness on your trailer or something, you might not have anything except your knife. And certainly cut it. Cut it very quickly. And see well it, it splits them. Splits beautifully, which I would expect, but and how about stripping? Uh, yeah, beautifully. Um, one thing we have left is see if it will throw some sparks. I very much doubt it will if I use the back because of the coating. We'll go ahead and test that though. Nope. So we'll use the choil and see how that does. Okay. Yeah, if we use the choil, that does beautifully. And I don't see any damage to the blade anywhere, do you? Looks like it's gone through everything quite nicely. Well, let's get out that piece of paper again and See how it handles that. They're going through beautifully. So, there you have it. Best Tech Airstream. Nice little knife. It's just retail price is $79. Minimum advertised price is $63. So, yeah. Sixty-three ninety-five is what I'll be asking for it on the website. As I say, we've got it in yellow and red. I have a link to the knife down in the description below if you're interested in getting one. In the meantime, I gotta get going. I'll leave you with a couple videos over here. I hope you'll enjoy. And as always, you can hit that target there to subscribe. I hope you do. I'll see you next week. And remember, maybe ability decides what you can do. Maybe motivation decides what you will do. But it's attitude decides how well you do it. So if you're going to do it, do it with attitude. See ya. Bye now.